Retail is in the limelight this week as investors look to get a pulse on the consumer. While names such as Walmart and Target gear up for earnings, investors are also keeping an eye on economic data out this week. Here with the details on what is in store, we have Yahoo Finance's Josh Schaefer. Yeah, what's in store in more, more ways than one? <laughs> There's what's making its way store, out of the store, right? yeah. But the question is, what do people buy in those stores, right? And that's what we're going to find out. Oh, the night. dad jokes. There we morning. go. I love there it. we go. We'll get it going on a Monday with the dad jokes, right? <laughs> yes. But retail sales is really going to be kind of the first thing. We'll have Home Depot before the bell tomorrow, but then retail sales will give us a good look broadly at what's happening. And really, it's interesting when you take a look at retail sales and think about what happened last month with that surprise down uh, down 1% last month. What is expected this month is a rise of 0.8%, but mainly driven by autos. So not necessarily the companies that we're going to be looking at later this week when we talk about broad retail. It seems like the expectations right now are still relatively strong in some senses when you think about Wells Fargo coming out and saying, quote, simply, the consumer is still spending. Bank of America calling the slowdown they've seen relatively benign for now. But broader data has pointed to, especially from Bank of America also, we're starting to see a little bit of a trade down from higher income consumers. And I think that's what we're wondering if we're going to continue to see that when we talk about the companies and what we see later this week and hear from those execs. Yeah, and so between the retail sales and the individual companies, like where what are we looking for from each? So, I guess? so my my three things, right? These are the three things I'm looking for this week, and we'll definitely be following and sort of putting that all into one story up there on Yahoo Finance Live for you. It's going to be trade downs from higher income consumers, mm. inventory levels, and then what's the full year sales guidance? A company like Target has already projected going back to last quarter, there's a chance their sales decline overall on the, on the year. Is that still what they're looking at overall? Target also having inventory problems a year ago, told you last quarter those have been relatively fixed. How do they feel about those now? And then of course, how that all leads into promotions, right? When we talk about retail and we talk about high inventory, a lot of times that leads to promotions, some sales, where have people sort of been buying them? And then I think with that higher income consumer, one thing I'm really curious about in that trade down, are people still buying groceries at Walmart? I feel like that was, the, that was the talk of Walmart's earnings call to some extent for me last quarter was mm. they were getting a lot of people trading down and buying groceries there. And that grocery business really built out for Walmart. And I'm curious if that's a trend that we continue to see as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a company for on the grocery business, at least here in the U.S., they had been the lion's share leader taking mm -hmm. on about uh, a quarter of the, per well, 25 percent roughly of the overall brick and mortar grocery business. But then it's OK, if for the pick and pack shoppers out there mm -hmm. where some of the new entrants have really started to chew into how Walmart is still servicing many of those households and Walmart, you mentioned Target. Walmart had a, a lighter full year outlook at their last report as well here. So there's going to be a lot within even the discretionary categories to keep an eye on. And some interesting data I was looking at too as far as foot traffic goes. Mm -hmm. Foot traffic down at Walmart, down at Target, down at BJ's in April. You're curious to see what that means when we talk about guidance, right, too, because it's important to remember we're not necessarily talking about April sales here when we talk about this week. But we're going to be talking about what's coming in the current quarter. The current quarter, there are at least less people going to the stores per some data online. So does that play out in what we're going to see moving forward too? Because remember, mm -hmm. while we love the earnings reports and what those numbers show us compared to estimates, we're really wondering what does it mean for the full year and what's going to happen moving forward and what's that guidance? Yeah, I wonder if Quick and Collect goes into those traffic numbers. I assume not because then you don't have to necessarily go into the store. I would guess it's walking into the store, right? right? So if you get pick up and they go into your trunk or however they're doing the pickup these days. It probably right. I don't get a, I don't get out that well I don't have a car to get out of but right. I mean I wouldn't be getting out of the car if I was getting curbside pickup. If you can avoid right. it. Yeah. If you can yeah. Why would, why would you? Just keep right. it moving. Thanks Josh appreciate it. Looking forward to all that this week.